Hey everybody and welcome, this is Elton playing some Final Fantasy Brave Exvius story characters. Uh, let's see, the developers gave us a pretty good gift and I hope that it's permanent. Um, you get an extra 30 base energy, which is pretty fantastic for lower ranking accounts like this one. Uh, it's going to help me out and, and stay a little more consistent while I go through this. Uh, so let's get on with the show. Um, yeah, we left off on this island that seems completely worthless. And, yeah. So, two or more limit bursts shouldn't be a problem. Ice damage, no problem. And no continues. Easy peasy. And depart. Oh no, what did I do? Not sure what those guys are doing in there. I do not remember why I sorted my parties like that. It's fine. All is well now. Alright. Yes, we need to keep this girl that we just met safe. Because we care about her a lot. Just kidding, we don't. <laughs> she doesn't matter. Let's see, so this new event, um, I'm actually liking quite a bit on my main account. It's, uh, it takes a lot of energy. And you can't leave and go do anything else when you're started, when you've committed to starting the whole story path. Um, not the whole thing, but, you know, a little bit of it. And it, it actually made me want to pull for some of the characters, which is really weird. Like, they're not even interesting and, and you don't feel super compelled to care about these characters, but having... I don't know, that you follow the, their little paths, their little stories, uh, gives a little meaning to the character and a little meaning to the draw, which I think is cool. It's nothing that I would pull super hard for or spend a lot of money on, or any money, for that matter. But, yeah, some interesting characters. Another Chocobo Rider, which is pretty cool. I don't know his skill set off the top of my head, or really any of them. Um, I do like the Apothecary guy, because I like... I like that concept of maybe an item-driven hero. Because uh, items suck so badly in this. You know, with the few exceptions, um, like Phoenix Downs, some elixirs you might use. Yeah, we'll just see what happens with that character. See, I don't even remember the character's name. It begins with an I, I think. Super compelling. Oh, um, repeat doesn't work, because I haven't started anything. Let's see, I actually have forgotten if I have any awakening materials for any of these characters. Uh, Fina's not level 60 yet, so she's not part of this discussion, but Last Well and Rain are both level 60. Yeah. A Were Panther. That's, a uh, strange. Strange name for a creature that just looks like a, a curl, a coral. Coral, it's a coral, it's from The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, the things that usually have blaster take you down to a, a hit point. Oh, so close to leveling. Not that it matters. I wish I was paying attention to that, actually. Because... So I have 92. I get to do a vortex real quick, because I think I cannot... Um, awakening, yes. 
think if I do... Well, it doesn't matter, does it? I'm just going to do Pro here, because it's going to use up 20 energy, and I should level. I am going to take a friend here, because I don't know how hard this stuff is. Should have used different characters, too. Well, that's okay. Yeah, she's not going to... The rest of them might die, but... Um... Oh, what's her face? Eileen is not going to have an issue. But yeah, it would be actually even better if I don't level from this. I'm pretty sure I will, though. Or rank up, not level. One thing, not the other. Yeah, and I'm sorry for this little detour, but... I'm just gonna try to work the system. Not really getting anything I need. A 90, nice. <laughs> That's pretty pretty great. Okay, so I will have to do another one of these. I don't have to, but I want to. I want to do something that's going to get me something useful, at least. Let's get some friend points here. Alright, Sacred Crystal. It's already worth it. It's now doubly worth it. That's great to have two drops in the same run. I think I need some more of those, too. So that that was an excellent 10 uh, energy used. The 20 energy for the pro, maybe not so much. And rank up. Beautiful. Yep, Heaven's Ash. I think I probably need some more of that. Let's just check on one of these characters. So I think... <sighs> Only one Heaven's Ash crumbs. Um, I am going to level up Rain first because that's another motorcycle outside. All the windows are shut and everything. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I'm going to level up or awaken Rain first because not only does he get full break at like level 80, 90 something uh, on six stars, he also will level up and just get hard levels faster than last well will. And last will, when I get him to 5 stars, and when he gets to level 80, that's going to be pretty good. Not, of course, it's not going to be as good as 6 stars, but it will be pretty good. Okay, so we used Prey. Now we just finish the mission, right? Two more limit bursts. That'll happen. I would love to see the same ability awakenings that Rosalia has for Fina, for the prey at least, where you get um, 30 mana every time it's used. And it's a guaranteed minor heal. Oh, this is fantastic. It's gonna wear off soon, right? Okay, so check it on the Wiki for Fina, see what her ability awakenings are. Oh yeah, she gets the boring ones. Yep, 
she gets an upgrade to cheer, which is not an upgrade to its um, buff strength. It's just a, a buff to its mana cost. I mean, it's a pretty good reduction, but it's only mana. Her MP. And her Kiraga. Oh, it's only a single target. Jeez, um. Well, Fina, it looks like you are gonna stay trash. It's a decent heal. But again, being single target really. You know, is awful. Yeah, she's pretty garbage. <laughs> Just garbage all around. Oh yeah, actually, now that I think about that, it I really need to take some time to uh, to go into the Vortex and do those story quests, the new event that's out, uh, because you get a lot of the um, ability awakening. Oh, I totally forgot to use extra limit breaks. You get a lot of the awakening crystals, uh, skill awakening crystals, and there's pretty decent amount of um pretty sorry i keep reading and i can't read and talk at the same time apparently there are a good number of ability awakenings that i think will really benefit this run like rain will get a refresh uh, as well as increased fire resistance uh, Lava Floor gets a decent multiplier at 3. It's okay. Uh, and his leadership skill, his um, buff for all stats, uh, gets a pretty good mana reduction. So between that and his auto refresh, it's going to be a pretty potent support character. And they're not that expensive. Um, let's see. For Last Will. He gets that Blade Flash Awakened ability. And that is... That's a nice debuff. But that's standard. Yeah, the debuff aspect of that skill is standard. It's still only one hit, and it's a crappy, crappy multiplier. 1.2 is the, uh, the multiplier with a 25% ignore resistance. It's physical damage, but it decreases ice resistance. Like, he's all over the place and he's just, they can't seem to land him. Oh yeah, I gave Fiend a Mage Cannon from... Uh, what ability? I don't remember which one that was. It's kind of a crap skill. <laughs> Alright, well, can these two finish this? I think they probably can. So yeah, back to Lastwell, he will get a passive buff that is decent. Gets a 40% increase to attack, which is okay. It costs a lot for what it is. And then the Mirror of, of Equity, which, you know, obviously is my standby skill at this point, gets a increase its damage multiplier. And that's super cheap. That's actually going to be worth getting as soon as possible. Come to think of it. I don't think I have everything that I need. I don't have anything that I need. <laughs> but that would be worth getting uh, as soon as possible. Let's go back to the world. Should be a boss now. Clear. Yep, yep. Oh, that's, um, intimidating, actually. Oh, nobody cares about the story in this section. Well, maybe somebody does. 
I do not. Looking ahead to Lid again. And her invention skill gets very good. Still RNG based, but very good. Um, um, I gotta kill the sprinter, right? But she's still. Lid is still far away, so. No go. No good. She does get Sunbeam, so that's gonna be my first reliable status effect infliction. Um, it's not reliable, it's only 30% blind. But it still is something that she's going to be able to use every turn. Alright, boss battle. Let's do this. It's a zoo. Is that what it's called? No, it's Tot Avis. Now let's break his attack. No, let's not use that, because you're not going to do that much damage. Oh, that's pretty good damage. Um, let's do Protect on Last Well as well. Didn't mean to do that. Let's heal up first. Uh, this is under control. It's kind of a lot of damage, but it's really not that bad. Oop, totally mistimed that. That's going to be an issue. Again, last well's a little lower than I'd like. <laughs> it's just how it's gonna go. Just gotta grind this out. I could use an item on Rain and have him come back, but we have this under control. No big deal. Should be, I think that's going to be enough. Oh. One more. No problem. God, just throw the kid off the cliff. Who cares? Let's just go to the next island. So I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to actually take some time and go get uh, the last Heaven's Ash that I need for the Five Star Awakening. And uh, yeah, I'll do that the next, next episode. So thank you for watching. See you on the next one.